despite your physical limitations, which in my case are pretty severe, I'm still able to live a pretty active lifestyle. This time last year, Alison Levine was winning her first international individual gold medal in Boccia right here in Montreal at the Complex Sportif Claude Robillard. But because of the COVID-19 pandemic, she and thousands of other disabled athletes are turning to this, online conferences to provide inspiration. It's about moving and having fun and um, adapting. Alison Levine discovered she had a degenerative neuromuscular disorder at the age of 12, but says she found comfort playing sports. She started horseback riding, but as her disorder got worse over the years, she had to switch to wheelchair basketball, to sledge hockey, to wheelchair rugby, and then to boccia, a Paralympic sport designed for those with severe limitations. After seven years of sheer hard work and determination, she is the number one boccia player in the world. Now that the Paralympian has been forced to practice at home, she says the focus has shifted to developing her other skills. Your deep breathing techniques, your calming techniques. We've been doing uh, lots of team meetings with video reviews of, you know, learning information on ourselves. And This year, Levine was asked to be one of the ambassadors of the largest annual multi-sport event in Canada, the Défi Sportif Altergo. The ongoing pandemic forced organizers to move the 37th edition online. Instead of welcoming thousands of athletes in different sporting venues, organizers are providing a week of virtual panel-like conferences, a TikTok competition, and a closing dance party on Friday. Really proud to have produced that virtual Défi Sportif Altergo. We really have... Like like we really thought about it and it was important to do something to bring everyone together. Organizers of the event are hoping to come back full force next year and Allison is optimistic. She says the pandemic could change the way the world views disabilities. It's nice to know as well that people are realizing that there are different ways of doing things. There are many people with disabilities that, that don't get hired because companies don't think that they can work from home or don't think that, um, or, or even things like, like grocery deliveries now, that these things that make life for people with disabilities so much easier are probably going to become the norm. And that's a, it's kind of the upside to a terrible situation. In Montreal, Melina Jubilaro, City News.